Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. There are some fun, exciting new features in Design Space that just happened yesterday and I wanted to pop on here and give you a quick tutorial on how to use these new features. The first one we're going to touch on and the most exciting in my opinion is the curved text feature. I know everyone has wanted this for a very long time. So let me show you how this works. You're going to click on text, you're going to put in one line of text. Oops, stand tall. So you can only have one line of text. If you put something like this, it's not going to work. It needs to be one single line of text. And you notice when you have that one single line of text, you now have a curve option up here in your menu bar. If you click on the down arrow, it's going to pop out a menu, a flyout menu here, and it's going to give you a slider. Now, if you move this slider to the right, it's going to curve your text down. If you move this slider to the left, it's going to curve the text up. Now, important thing to note, if you click on the advanced features and separate these letters at any time, you can no longer curve the text. So if you're going to you need to move the spacing, you're going to want to do that after you've already curved it. So let's curve this text down a little bit to, let's say, I'm going to put it at 8.00. So the slider is moved to the right to 8.00. And I'm going to set that right there. Now, what if I wanted to put some other text that curved up the other direction? All I would do is add another line of text and I would put my darling. Now, the text, this text was curved at, if we look at the drop down menu, at 8.00. So if I click on this one and I hit the curve, and I put the negative same number in there. So I put minus 8.00. So the first one was a positive number. This time we're putting a minus at the exact same number. Look what happens. It curves that text at the exact same angle that the top text was. So now we're making a perfect circle around this. So if I select all of this and I click align center horizontally, we now have a perfectly centered design with the exact same curve on both the upper and lower words. So we can move this down a little bit. Now I kind of don't like how that T is not really connected to that A. So at this point I can now ungroup to letters and just pull this T over here a little bit. I like that a little bit better. But you notice now when I click on the text I can no longer curve. I can curve a single letter but I can't curve all of these letters anymore. So that's something to keep in mind. Once you weld or attach or flatten or ungroup to letters, you can no longer curve except for one single letter at a time. So let's select that word and weld it back together. And you can see it's now a shape, it's no longer a word, so I can't curve it. So if you're going to mess with the spacing, do it after you curve your text. Now, here's another fun, new, exciting feature. Let's click Save, and we're going to call this Stand Tall, My Darling, and click Save. And I'm going to leave that public checked. All right. Now, while I'm right here, I'm going to take a screenshot of this, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. So let's take a screenshot of my design. So here you see in my projects, here is the project that we just made. And you see this new button, it says share. So if I were to click share, it says to share this project, add more info, add details. So now it's giving us an option that looks kind of like these ready to make projects. We're going to now share with a little bit more information and I really like this. First off, we can add a photo. Remember that screenshot I took? All right, we're gonna grab it. Oops, this one right here. And I can add a photo right here. You can zoom it up if you really want to zoom in on some details or zoom down. You can't go below 100%, but you can zoom it up bigger. This one is automatically generated by Design Space for you. If you click Visible to Others, everybody in the Cricut community can use your file. If you turn that off, it's just private to you. Here you can name it. Here you can add some or a description. So I'm going to put stand tall, my darling. Great idea for a t-shirt. Um, you could put why you made it. You could put any kind of information you wanted in there or, you know, um, use glitter vinyl for the flamingo. 
something like that or, or glitter iron on or whatever you wanted to put. So then you would click save. Now, once you save it, you can now save this right to your Facebook timeline. So if I go click on Facebook and I can choose whether I share it on my timeline, share it on a friend's timeline, share it in a group, share it in an event or share it on a page. Let's share it on my page and I'm going to choose my personal page here and I'm going to put new sharing feature in design space. You can make this shirt by clicking below or whatever you wanted to put. I could describe my design and I can click post to Facebook. Similarly, we can post to Pinterest. So let me click off of that and let's click over to my Facebook page and let's see what happened. Let me refresh it here and look what happened. Here is that design that I just made shared to my Facebook page real time and now everyone can click on that and if they click on it, this is what's going to happen. It's going to bring them to this screen that looks just like the ready to make projects that are in Design Space already. It's got my name, it's got everything and all they have to do is click make it or they can click customize. So that's a really cool feature. Now something else I want to make you aware of, if you click view all on my ready to make projects, you can now favorite these. So say I want to favorite that one and that one so that I don't have to, you know, scroll all through these and find it again. I can favorite those. So once we've favorited our projects, we can go up here to the filter and click my favorites. And then it's just going to show me the ones that I have favorited to look at later so that I don't have to scroll through and find those every time. So those are some fun, new, exciting features in Design Space. I think this is really going to help our work time in Design Space. It's going to make us much more efficient. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to try out these new features, and I would can't wait to see what you guys make, especially with this curved text feature. And I'll be looking for your projects in the Cricut community. See you guys later. Bye-bye.